Shields up, Iron Breakers. As I was saying, we are on part 12. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you guys are all ready for some more. But some of you guys might be wondering, what do you mean part 12, though? You already finished the story, you know? Didn't you finish the game? Like, how, how is this like part 12? And the reasoning is, we haven't seen all the monsters yet. There's still quite a few things to discover over there in that new area, the Guiding Lands. There's a lot to do still. I mean, naturally, there's always the mega endgame of Monster Hunter, which is always tons of stuff to do. But in this specific case, there's many more things yet to discover. And please, chat, please continue to be as spoiler-free as possible. I love you guys for trying to keep it spoiler-free, so thank you. But uh, yeah, we still have quite a few things to do. So today, the thing that we're going to be focusing on today is working out the kinks in our mixed set. Let me just make sure that I'm re-fertilizing everything. Because unfortunately we lost our fertilizer last time around. Because I tend to get extremely distracted um, with that. Rurikon, can you look through charms? Uh, through charms for me real quick. I've heard stories of a spare shot charm. Sure thing. That reminds me. I, I don't remember seeing anything new last time I checked. But, you know, since then we might have unlocked something. And just in case we did... We'll check it. So we got poison attack, defense, paralysis, sleep, stun, windproof, health, recovery, fire, water, thunder, blaze, food, shock, uh, flood, shock, venom, mobilize, tranquilizer, KO, innervate, artillery, hungerless, ironside, friendship, extension, extension, item prolonger, uh, glutton charm, blessing, blessing is divine, yeah, yeah, uh, rally charm for the palico, botany, geology, slinger, stealth, survival, expert, mire walker, insect charm, Intimidator Charm, Heavy Artillery, Light Eaters, Free Meal, uh, Tracker Charm, Scent Hood, uh, Scent Hound even. Fortification, Performance, Capacity, Bleed, Speed Heal, Ice Charm, Blight Charm, Frost Charm, Mice Charm, Evasion Charm, Sheet Charm, Whetstone Charm, Blast, Dragon, Worms, Bane, Demolition, Draw, Special Shot, Special Ammo Boost, Marathon, Fitness, Surge, Leaping, Bombardier, Mushroom Mancer, Handy Cram, uh, Mud Puppy, Trick shot, so muck resistance, leap of faith, dung master, blind cider, BBQ master, master fisher, pro transport, honey hunter, master gather, carving pro, iron skin, earplugs, tremor resistance, weakness, exploit, focus, breaker, fury, grit, maintenance, power, agitator, peak performance, maximum might, flinch, free effluvia, normal shots, heat guard, effluvial, maximum amount of scalp, light of scalp, critical boost, uh, power prolonger, prison shots, spread shots, poison functionality, power functionality, power functionality, forges luck, detector, fitness lighting, airborne, elder seal, dragon attack, resuscitate guard up, offensive guard, phoenix charm, that's a new one, that's the only new thing, which is coalesce, <laughs> and coalesce is that skill that whenever you recover from, um, elements uh, from a blight, right? Yeah, whenever you recover from blight, you get uh, element attack and attack power. So if there is one, I don't have it yet. If there is one, I don't have it yet. Jamie Stevens, longsword tree. Everybody wants to look at a weapon tree. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys the longsword because I know that there's probably going to be a lot of people that also want to see that. So look, uh, longsword. Here's, this is your basic iron, right? Uh, this right here, I believe, is going to be Garuga's. Uh, we haven't found him yet. Uh, Zenogre's is really good. It's a lot of... It's a looker. Uh, I'm not going to be previewing every weapon. Like, sorry, you can see the little preview icon there. Uh, we got... This is what? Narga? No, this is Titiaku. Uh, we got Baryoth over here. Looks cool. We got Kuyaku. Not a big fan of it. Narga's is all right. Uh... Brazen Reach, Uragon. Mm, Glavinus Espada. I don't like the little two things on long swords. I, I don't think it makes for a good design. Uh, I still haven't done anything on the Rathian Tree. Wyvern Blade Indigo Plus. These don't change that much. Oof. Bone Tree. Velcana's looks good. It's very simple, but very nice. It's got a little icicle thing going there. We got the tree. Tigrine Edge, which is very savage, very tribal, but at least it's unique. We have this, whatever this is, which I haven't unlocked yet. Yes, this is the... There's a sleep monster that I haven't unlocked yet. I don't think it's Nightshade Paolumu. I should check to see if I have Nightshade Paolumu stuff. I wonder if I haven't unlocked Nightshade Paolumu's tree. That might be a thing. We got the basil... Where was I? Okay. 
Yeah, we got the Rooks here from the new Basil Goose. We got Andrew Direfang, doesn't really change that much. We got the Gnashing Folgor, which, ugh, oof, big oof. The uh, Mammoth Longblade. The Mammoth Longblade is actually all right, I think, because he's got the big horns. Valazak. It's kind of bony. Acid Glavinus as well. Kobe Kadachi. Crimson Viper Fang. Legia. Wow, the Legia Steeler actually looks really cool. Oh, it's because I had never seen the first one. Ha! <laughs> uh, Abyss Piercer. Brocky Dio Scimitar. I mean, the Brocky weapons, man. Randy Pitchbone butchered my boy Brocky, dude. He fucking butchered him. Like, what the fuck is that? How's that even a Brocky Dio's longsword? What is that? I mean, come on, man. Psh, whatever. Dragon Seal Old Blade. We got the Radiant Flow. We got Zora Magdros. I don't have it yet. The Hydro Torn area is actually really cool. Uh, Imperial Flicker Flame from our good boy Teostra. On the Workshop Weapon Tree, we got the Vine Slasher, naturally. Can... Double Joe weapons all kind of have this eerie glow to them. I think there's going to be a lot of fashion hunters out there just rocking Devil Joe for the looks. Uh, we haven't really seen any of the Emperor's stuff. And that's it. And anyhow, are there any good great axe weapons from Iceborne? What do you mean great axe? Talking about switch X. Anyway, okay, guys, back back on track. Back on track here. Okay. Listen, here's our objective. There's one thing that I haven't found yet. So the way to craft Zora's set, which, as you know, is going to be the set that I'm going to be crafting, is through materials that you gather in the Guiding Lands. By the way, Capcom, I still can't believe you did this. Okay. Because not only you did this. But this is a set that a lot of people are going to have to wear. It's not a choice. They have to wear it. Particularly Gunlance users. We really, really don't have a choice. It's like, Charge Blade users, they can be like, dude, I'll just play Elemental. But Gunlance users will like, well, I mean, I'd like to use a different set, but I guess I'm stuck with this. So it's very disappointing that Zora Magdro's set changes nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing. Anyway, continuing on, as I was saying, uh, we got the materials to craft the armor, and I believe the belt is the other thing that I'm crafting. Yeah, from this set, we are going to craft uh, headpiece, chest piece, belt, which I can already craft the belt, and I can craft the chest piece. I still need more things to be able to craft the head, and I believe that those weathered crag bones are bones that are in the Wildspire Waste section of the Guiding Lands. And I haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen him yet. Have you, have you checked the new guild card backgrounds? I only got around to seeing them now. No, I haven't yet. I haven't seen them yet. Anyway, now let me see. The other two parts that we'll most likely be using are going to be Uragon. I'm still a little bit indecisive on that, but I mean, the other thing that I could potentially use would be RTM, I feel like, and it doesn't really have good skills. And that is if I even wanted to have... Ardian is crit stats, actually, so no, I wouldn't even use Ardian. Yeah, it's gonna be our good boy. I wonder if I can actually craft it already. Wait, where's Uragon? Is he downstairs? Is Uragon all the way down? Yeah, he is. Actually, I can craft it. We can craft the gloves, and then we're going to craft the boots as well. I can actually craft this, but we'll craft the whole set when we can actually get it, and then we'll put decos on it and do all of that stuff. So, what we got to do now is I got to head into the guiding lens. Kegrin, did you end up killing, um, did you end up killing Home Slice? Do you still need help with that? So you craft Zora stuff from Matt's gathered in the Guiding Lands. Does this mean that the Guiding Lands were created by Zora dying? I never even thought of it like that. 
I never even considered that. Miss T? That is a very, very, very likely theory. Yes, easy kill this morning. Yeah, exactly. That would take thousands of years, though. Maybe it was accelerated by the Everstream, Dark Hero. I don't know. The Everstream kind of accelerated the growth of, uh, of something, but I really like it. I really like it. Enrique Salmeron, I'm glad you enjoyed the channel, dude. But I really like that theory, Misty. That is amazing. I mean, even even if that isn't the case, you know, even if it turns out that that's not it, it's still a nice, it's still a nice way to look at it. I feel like it's very interesting. Master Hunter logic, big brain plays. <laughs> Wait, why do I have a quest? What? What? Oh! I didn't even notice we had a new quest. What's going on? Do you have a minute? Some news come up. We got a monster sighting in the guy in the Lance Forest region. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Nothing we've seen out here before. It's a Yan Garuga! I told you guys there were new monsters coming! Huh. Never seen or heard of this monster before. I wonder what it looks like. The hunter who spotted it says her ears are still ringing from its piercing scream. Aka with a mech. Rui, what gun lance are you going for and what shelling type? I'm going for um, normal shelling. The quest is called Return of the Crazy One. <laughs> Go have a look when you can. Return of the Crazy One. It's the Return of the Crazy One. Okay, boys, who's ready? Who's right? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Before we go to Yan Garuga, we're going to craft our set. Yeah, we're going to make our set. Dude. We're going to make our set, and then we're going to go kill Yan Garuga. Sounds fair? Because, guys, I really want to make my set. I still haven't made my final mixed set, and I really, really, really want to get on that. So, guys, please bear with me. Please don't be mean. Uh, I know that I'm uh, teasing you guys a little bit here. But we will do Yan Garuga, okay? <laughs> Kegarin, well, time to quit Monster Hunter now. <laughs> I don't know, it's the big deal. Yan Garuga is fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, after being on stream, on, um, on Dark Hero's stream yesterday, I'm beginning to consider the possibility that the Clutch Claw is a little bit overpowered. I mean, not too much, just a little bit. Like to the point where there were four of us hunting a Puke Puke, and I, and I, I looked away from the Puke Puke just for a couple of seconds because I was picking up some ammo, and I look back at the Puke Puke, and there's three hunters clutched on it, all doing different shit to the monster, and I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? There are literally three people on top of the monster just like hacking away at it like nothing. I was like, dude, what is that? What is even that? <laughs> That's unreasonable. Oh, wow. By the way, look at that, Dark. Looks like we leveled up my guiding lands quite a bit. We got Azure Rathalos and Fulgar Anjanath roaming around. This, this is all you guys' fault. I didn't do nothing. And I still didn't get my damn bones. I just don't understand how a Kutku managed to score a Rathian. Is that, is that how you get, um, is that how you get whatever faces? You guys can join in the Guiding Lands, but just be aware. The only thing I want to do in the Guiding Lands right now is figure out where I get those Weathered Crag Bones. As soon as I get three Weathered Crag Bones, I'm out of there. If you guys want to join my Guided Lands, feel free to. If you bring a monster near me, I'll smack it in the face. But ultimately, my objective right now is getting those weathered crag bones. Dark Hero watches Rui stream. Dude, me and Dark Hero are like great friends. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course we watch each other's streams. We even did this huge collab that nobody's ever going to see because we fucked up the timing on it. I mean, I say we fucked up the timing on it. I didn't even do anything. We just kind of recorded the stuff and then I lost the footage. And then Dark Hero made an amazingly edited video 
that uh, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to release now because there's a lot more monsters in the game. Like this massive collab we did. I think we spent like four hours recording and then we never did anything with it. <laughs> we basically raided all of the monsters and then all of the weapons in the base game of Monster Hunter. We did like a tier list type thing and we never <laughs> released those videos. <laughs> See, Dark Hero, we should have just made the podcast like I suggested. We would have done all that shit live, and it would have been out there. The podcast, man. You and me, we got to do a podcast. A weekly podcast. That would have been the best thing. Anyway, continuing onwards. Uh, let's grab our... Did I... Yeah, I think I did refill stuff. Hopefully I refilled stuff, because if I didn't, I'm about to have a really bad time. We're going to go into the Wild Spire Wastes, and I'm actually not going to ride the doggo because i need to see what bones look like in the wild spire waste because you guys need to understand the guiding lands um materials look extremely different than they do on the other places they're actually hidden so finding them for the first time is a bit of a pain like i already know where some of the stuff is on the coral highlands for instance but i have never picked up a single bone in the wild spire wastes and that is what i need right now like see this right here this is a mining node. Like, look look at how different it is. Look at how long it took to light up. Look at how it's just, like, meshed in. Like, if you're not paying super attention, you're never going to find this shit. <laughs> hey, tag back. What's up? How are you liking the Guiding Land so far? I love it. You just come in here, you hunt a bunch of monsters, have some fun. I love it. The thing that bothers me, like I said, is, like, it's a pain in the ass to find some of these materials for the first time around. Are these the bones? No, this is just stone. How are you doing, though, Tagback? You enjoying the game? Yo, have you fought Zenogre and Yan Garuga? So do you think they are weak? I fought, um... I fought Zenogre. I didn't think that it was particularly weak. I think more of it in terms of, like, that's the normal version. It's not the tempered version yet. And I have a pretty powerful set. Materials were a pain. Bones are blended into the wall. Okay, so in here they're blended into the wall as well. It's the same thing in, um in Coral Highlands, but I've seen what the Coral Highlands ones look like. Assuming these ones probably look the same, which means they're gonna be a literal pain to see because they're yellow. The damn things are yellow. I probably need to go upstairs. But yeah, guys, I know, real exciting stream, Rurikon trying to find bones in the Wild Spire Wastes, but that's the last thing that we need for our Zora Magdaros set. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Thunderbugs. I think I have to go to the other side. I don't see anything around here. Scatter nut nitro shroom. I'm just going through the walls and seeing if the scout flies pick up on anything. Pick up these Rathian footprints, though. I have to do another round of investigation cleansing later today as well. Dude, it's so hard. Okay, nothing here. Does it not show on the map? Nope. Not in the guiding lands. Dude, seriously, I can't find a single piece of bone? Like, this is normal. Looks like Rathian's not gonna leave us in peace. I might have to beat her crap. I really don't feel like it. Maybe I have to level up these the the wild spire ways, so maybe then more stuff will show up. Okay. 
didn't want to fight you, Rathen, but you're picking on me. So now you're gonna get it. Yoink! That's just because we don't have uh, proper sets yet to tag back, I think. I think once we start getting proper builds, I think they're gonna feel just as squishy as world. This one's getting fired right into the tail. Because that's where my worm stick is. That's not what I wanted it, to be honest. I like the legs. The legs is one of the best spots for the worm stick to be in. Because it messes them up every time you do um, full burst. So good. Bam! start disappearing soon if they haven't already actually they already disappeared I hate how little they last like it's already gone all of the stuff that my palico carved out it's all gone that's another reason why I don't like the plunder blade I did run plunder blade mostly for the last boss and I forgot to change it back But now that I already have um, the stuff that I wanted, I can probably swap it again. See what I mean? Like, when, you, when you're running Plunder Blade right now, you have to, like, stop. Pick up everything if you really want to get some Zenny out of shit and whatnot. Yoink. 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 She's gone, and now we can get back to our investigation. Okay, where are them bones? Let's go find them bones. Did a 15 minute run of Ishvalda yesterday with some people was crazy. Yeah, Ishvalda is not messing around, dude. That's one of the reasons why yesterday I was so upset that I just crafted an insect glaive. I'm never gonna have to worry about Ishvalda ever again. If I want to farm it, pick up the insect glaive, beat it into a pulp. I haven't died once against that boss with the insect glaive. Not once. So that's what I would advise people. Like, if you're struggling with it, just look, just get yourself an insect glaive and just spam aerial glaive on it. 
Let's get the typewriter mechanic. You do the typewriter. Oh, looks like I found another one of these nodes, but these aren't the nodes I'm looking for. Where the hell am I going to find these weathered crag ones? Is that a node? That looks like a node. Yep, that's another node. Thing is, I don't know what the bone ones look like out here. It almost seems like they're not even here. The only time when you actually need Randy Pitchbone. He doesn't show up. Oh, is this it? Oh, no, that's a beefy mining outcrop. Dragon Veil Coal Chunk. Contains the earth. The deposit size can fuel the base for days. Okay, that's, that's fuel for the base, though. Oh, so the more you level up an area, it seems like you start getting bigger nodes. Then probably, yes, I just need to level up the Wildspire Wastes to start getting better bone nodes or something. BONE NODE! Oh my god, you can barely see it! Don't you dare, Dark Hero. Yes! Weathered Cragbone! That's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so let me take a good look at the area. So... It's here. It's right before these bushes. Damn. Damn. Are you looking for bones too, Dark Hero? Is that what you're looking for? Wait, did you find another one? I don't have anything. I don't have anything here. Look over there. Man, I don't have anything. Feels bad. How do you level up areas? Fight monsters in them. Dude, there's only like one bone thing out here. This is terrible. They move around, not permanent spawn. Yesterday I got this, we got repeated spawns on Coral Highlands. But I guess they probably do move around considering that Dark Hero had one here and I didn't. That makes it a pain to get them bones. Them bones, them bones, them. Ankle bones, them bones, them bones, them. The hip bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones connected to the foot bone. Isn't that how that song goes? I actually don't know. Uh, bones! Just give me the most basic material. No, no, don't give me, don't give me account points. There we go, Wasteland Cragbone. Wait, is that the first one that I got? I thought I already picked one up. I could have swore I already picked one up. I wish they would be on more places than just the walls. Ooh, look at this big mining node! Thick mining node right there. Dragon Vein Coal Chunk. Cracked Crystal. Well, what the hell do you even want right now? Like, are you for real right now, Rathian? Like, get real, please. Be realistic. What do you think's gonna happen? Also, where's my ammunition? Did she not drop any ammo? Yeah, she did. Good girl. Into the poop shoot it goes! That the best you got? Let's try not to hit Dark Hero. <laughs> Shot down! You get shot down! I don't think she's leaving. I think she's just gonna stay here now. Okay, 
I gotta pick up some of this stuff, excuse me. The mats, Dark Hero, remember to pick up the mats, otherwise they go away. They go away a little bit too fast for my taste. See what I mean by the constant tripping when they're in the leg? It doesn't stop. Ish! Fus! Roda! Oh shit, you were mounting? I didn't see, sorry. My bad. I only saw it after I fired the pod. And that's that. My Palico did another one of his little chopping attacks. Didn't he get anything out of that? Oh well. Yoink! <clears throat> Rurikon just just joined in. Wanted to ask what armor you're currently wearing. I'm wearing a uh, three-piece Narga, uh, which I believe is yeah. Actually, I know that's um, chest piece Narga, uh, belt Narga, gloves Narga, uh, pink Rathian headpiece. For the Evade Extender and uh, Anjanath legs. I mean, it would have been easier to just do this, but, you know. And the reason I do that is because razor, true razor sharp spare shot is one of the best skills you can get for normal shelling gun lances before you get to the Zora Magdro stage of the game. Hands down, one of the best skills that you can get. Dark Hero has, like, increased scout fly range, or whatever it is, on his thing. Wait, there's nothing there. He's got different nodes than me. <laughs> I want nodes. Eleven minute Glavinus, that's good. Hey, we just beat Iceborne and hunted my first Zenogre, I'm real happy. Yeah, dude. Did you capture the um, the bugs? Uh, I was on a Dark Hero stream yesterday. We went there. To, I summoned an ice, uh, a Zenogre for them, and we captured the um, the little bugs that he has on his back. You have to use the the capture net. I'm pretty sure that first bone thing that we picked up earlier is probably going to be available again. Ah, bone pile. There's a bone pile nearby. I don't know where.
Aha! Weathered Cragbone. Yep, I have enough Weathered Cragbone. It's time to go craft our set. Let me just pick this up before we bail. Boink. 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 Sweet. Sweet. It's time to go craft our set. And then I'm going to solo the Psycho Chicken. You guys will see. It's going to be glorious. Return from Expedition. Yoink. Can you use the Scout Flies to find the Bone Piles? Yes. I wonder what monster I need to get for the um, for the mats for the augments for the health regen. Oh, I lost coral region. Can you check again what Kinsec bonus the Genogre Insect Lave has? Sure. Work on how to get Dragon Vein Solid Bone. Uh, Dragon Vein Solid Bone. I mean, I would imagine. That would probably be in the Coral Highlands in the in the thing. It's either Coral or for. It's like, I don't think it's the Wildspire Wastes in Guiding Lands. So it's probably going to be one of the other three, but I can't tell for sure where. I, actually, I wonder if it tells me, because I probably have that material. Let me just uh, fertilize my shit. Which one am I missing now? This one. Bam. And now let me also I can check in my my mats here in just a quick second. I don't know if it says though. I hope it does. No, not equipment. Sell sell items. How do you sort R3? Do all the materials show up here? Looks like they do. Pure crystal, gracium, aquasite. So you're looking for bones. Ancient bone, sturdy bone, dragon bone. Might be the ones in the... No, not these ones. I have way too many of these ones. Monster tough bone. Monster solid bone? Is that the one? No, you're looking for dragon vein solid bone. Wait. Dragon vein solid bone? Vein is usually referred to ores. Vein is referred to ores. So, like... Dragon Vein Crystal? I got Dragon Vein Crystal. Where do these mats even show up? The Guiding Land stuff. Does it show up near the end? Yeah, this is the bone. Fierce Dragon Bane Vone. Obtained from large monsters in the Guiding Lands. Visibly stronger for having absorbed earthen energy. Is it this one? This one is just killing monsters and the, um, then there's the heavy one. Large monsters in the Guiding Lands. There's all the, in Dragon Vein Solid Bone, large monsters in the Guiding Lands. Just kill large monsters in the Guiding Lands. That's all you need to do. And be lucky. And probably the large Wyvern Gem also from the Guiding Lands. So long as you're killing stuff in the Guiding Lands, uh, hopefully Baroths, uh, you'll probably be able to get it. I know that I've gotten one or two from that. Anyway, forge equipment, forge armor. The time has come, team. The time has come to forge the set that we'll be wearing for the next period of our journey. I hope you are ready for this. You know what's one of the best things that this set has, by the way? You know what's one of the best things that this set has for when you're playing with Kegrin and Wada Nagashiks? Flinch free! That's one of the best things this set has for when you're playing with Kegrin and Wada Nagashiks. Jesus fucking Christ. I've been in situations where I put my shield up to reload, and I'm just stuck there like... It's like holding my shield up and just like losing my shit. It's like I just wanted to reload, and I can't even move for the next 20 minutes or so with them just like going at it. 
God damn, dude. Okay, so now we also want the chest piece. Bam. And finally, the belt. So I can aim pierce ammo at you now. Nice. Please don't. I will check it. Like, just, just let me craft my set, dude. I've been waiting so long for this set. Jesus. Okay, so we got the Zora Spine. And now finally... You know, I would have actually crafted Dogron if I could get protective polish out of it. I would have actually crafted it. But unfortunately, you need three pieces for it, so... Rip. So instead, where's my Uragan? We're gonna go with this. How many slots do we get on this? Ugh. Yeesh! Bam! Right there. Whip that. And finally, this. Bam. And now we're never gonna look good ever again. Because this set just doesn't mesh. <laughs> oh god, it's so bad! It's so bad! Why is it so bad? <laughs> Okay, so one of the first things we need to put in here is a capacity decoration. Where is this? Oh yeah, no, I got an idea. BAM! Got him! I love that feature. So good. Magazine. BAM. So. And if you look at it now, we got level 5 artillery, level 4 guard, level 3 tremor resistance? I didn't even know we are going to get that. I didn't even know that was a thing we were going to get. But I'm happy about it. We also got guard up. We got artillery secret. Beautiful. Beautiful set. Love it. Okay, so one of the cool things to get, um, I guess, would be... Tenderizer. Or, I would actually rather get uh, Expert. But I don't think we'll be able to get Expert, unfortunately. Because as a Gunlance user, I don't care what part of the monster that I'm hitting. It, does, it doesn't make a damn difference to me, so Weakness Exploit isn't really something I give two shits about right now. I'd much rather go the route of the Expert decos. But I also want to have survivability, so unfortunately these are going to be reserved for Vitality decos. Because ultimately critting is not super important to me. Uh, I'll just need to get better decorations at this point. That's the thing, I just need better decos. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Can go tenderizer? Oh man, I don't have uh, evasion anymore. I mean, jumping. I love jumping so much. It's so good. It's so good. I don't care what you have to say about it, it's so good. Also, I definitely need to have uh, protective polish. That's an unfortunate consequence. Protective polish, where is it? Sharp jewel. I only have five of them. And then finally... I think I might actually go for the guardian stuff. I have a bunch of guardian decos I wouldn't mind using. Well, the good news is I'll never need... Um, I'm never going to need artillery decos anymore. <laughs> Didn't I have a guardian attack? Guardian attack would be good. Guardian attack. And I have another guardian in there. I think it's guardian physique. Guardian physique. We really don't have any affinity whatsoever right now. Any affinity. At all. So, I got an idea. I have, like, a, this maximum might deco with life. Um, I have a crisis handicraft, too. I like this crisis handicraft. Uh, 
Let's do this. And to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to put here. I guess I could put another maximum might, but... Yeah, I just genu ge genuinely have no idea what to put on here. <laughs> Magazine, we already have Fury, Physique, Refresh, Evasion, Jumping. I could put the final jumping. Or I could put another Maximum Might, but it's only going to be like 20% and it's not even going to work that often. This gives me 10%. To be honest, I'm not going to go with this. I'm going to instead take Expert and get a passive 10%. And then if I do another Expert, how much is that? 15%. I could get 10 per Well, I could actually just do a tenderizer and get 10% with 5% additional. Yeah. Let's do a tenderizer. It's not a perfect set. I know. Oh, no. I need to do speed sharpening. Forgot about that. Yeah, we need speed sharpening. Wait, I have a grinder four-piecer, don't I? What does it come with? Grinder, grinder, grinder. I remember I had a grinder in here. Grinder physique. No, I think I'm better off taking a level one. Speed, 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 speed. Speed sharpening. Yep, I just have this one and that one, so... This one. Cool thing about the set, Brewery can work with Rapid Stick if you want to try that madness. <laughs> can you please discuss the different shelling types for the various gun lances and what changes, if any, uh, there have been? Um, <clears throat> it's not really a fun discussion, I'll tell you that right now. But sure, I can, I can, wait, uh, Kegrin wanted me, let me just check this bonus for Kegrin. And also let me upgrade my set. And then I'll go into the training grounds, and I'll show you. It's not a fun time, I'll tell you that right now. You're not going to like what I have to say. For one of the shelling types, at least. The other shelling types are like, eh. Dude, I'm running low on these hard armor spheres. There you go, Waco. You hit it on the nail right there. No, there isn't then. At least that I've found so far. I'm still missing one monster that hasn't been spoiled for me and I have no idea what it is. And I don't think it was in the trailers, so I just don't know what that monster is. Uh, but until I get to that monster, there might be a gun lance that might be wide shelling level 6. Which is one of the reasons why I still haven't made a video talking about wide shelling level 6 as a problem. Uh, so that's fully upgraded. I'm curious, can I augment? Can I begin to augment? I don't think I have the materials yet. Uh... For health regen, I need... Yep. I don't have materials yet. <laughs> Wait, Vorpal Ice Fort only has those? Wow. Wow! <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put... Oh, I can augment armor as well. Great Spirit Vein Gem. I don't have any of this stuff to augment my armor yet. Doesn't look terrible. I wish it looked better. I wonder if I can paint some some of the my armor yellow to make it okay, and some of the other armor purple. Um, okay, Kagrin. In terms of your insect glaive, insect glaive, Zenoger, 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 Zenoger. Is it thunder? Oh, no, it's Zenoger. 
Spirit and th strength boost. I'm not sure what the spirit means. What is the spirit, guys? Does anybody know what the spirit thing is? I'm missing five more monsters? Cool. When are you going to kill Savage Devil Joe? I don't know. I don't need anything from Savage Devil Joe. Like, there's literally nothing that I want from Savage Devil Joe. I might make a swing lance out of Glavinus, though, just out of curiosity. Uh, let me see about painting this set, and then I'll head out to the training grounds and I'll tell you about the different shelling types, because that's a question that comes up a lot, and I understand people want to know. No, 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 no. Uh, I thought it was... Wait. Oh, the arms cover that whole part, huh? Okay, then I should leave them on yellow. Pants, on the other hand, could do with a little bit of purple, I guess. Uh, you don't really paint... Oh, you do paint a bit over there. It's not really purple, it's like dark pink. Doesn't have a lot of brightness to it. Actually, it does have brightness. I think it just doesn't have saturation. It's got brightness, but less saturation. It's a little bit more towards that red side. It's almost pink. Maybe not as much brightness. Okay. Also, guys, here's one thing that I never did that you guys have to tell me how to get. I'm ashamed to admit it. How do I get those sharpening fish? <laughs> so I'm gonna need a ton of those. I'm gonna need so many of those. It's gonna be insane. <sighs> okay, let's hit the training rounds. I wish Seliana had tra a training area of its own. Yeah, the whetstone fish. Use the net. I know that it's by fishing. I mean, where? Where do I fish them? Like, where's a good location to just spam it until I get like a thousand of them? That's what I want. I need a thousand of them. Okay, so shelling types. Uh, pretty much you're always looking at... Uh, Smacking the mo the monster with your worm stake blast every time because it's a massive damage boost. It is massive. And also, you always want to get it from ammunition that drops from monsters if possible. If you can't get it from ammunition that drops from monsters, then pick up something that you can get off of the ground and then use it because otherwise it doesn't last that long. So we got a thorn pot here uh, and I'm going to charge it up into the, into the gun lance. So usually the way I get it on there with normal is I go for the full burst and spam circle, bam. And then we get that thing in there. And then it's just like do your rotation and full burst. Forty-three. That's a lot of damage! That's how you do your slam burst. Uh, it's pretty solid. I really like it. It's the one that I've been using a lot. Uh, now, when it comes to long shelling, you're not really as comparable as you were doing full burst. Because, like, I would almost say that doing long shelling full, full burst, if you wanted to, like some kind of long hybrid playstyle, I would almost say that that was very much viable. 
in Monster Hunter World, um, the, the base game. It wasn't the most optimal thing, but it was viable. Now, you begin to feel the differences a little bit more. So when you do long shelling, you really want to do long shelling. So like, I remember doing the math, and like, you can see that, you know, you're, you still deal this decent damage with full burst, and your sharpness doesn't go down as fast. Like, you're looking at 7151, but ultimately, I think full burst, it really only play, pays off to mostly do... Bang. 158, 105. Interesting. Wyvern Stake Blast doesn't appear to be influenced at all when it comes to long shelling. And then here's the problem, right? Remember, um... Remember how wide shelling was? Let me get you, like, one of the top wide shelling gun lances that I have. I mean, it's not one of the top, it's just one that has wide shelling level 5, because after I saw that I couldn't get wide shelling level 6, I just completely gave up on wide. But basically, the problem with wide shelling is that... Let's put the thing in there. Actually, it's dealing a lot of damage right now. I wonder if it pays off with artillery level 5. It's the first time that I'm using artillery level 5, by the way. So, wide shelling, you do... You got 76-32, right? And you know, the combo goes... Actually, I'm fuck. I'm butchering this combo. I don't do this combo very often. Cut me some slack. Okay, so you do your little combo, you get three shells, each of the shells is doing, like we see here, 76 damage, plus 32. 76 plus 32, that's going to give you 108 per shell, right? And now you get the Long Gun Lance, Death Lance, Fall Hazak, Spiza. Remember, 108 damage is how much you were getting off of that. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it. Put it in there. And now, if instead of using a wide shelling gun lance to do the wide shelling playstyle, instead, you can get four shells off. One, two. And if you notice there, what do we got? What do we got per shell? 106. 106. So you do two more damage per shell shot. Two more damage per shell shot. So basically, what you want to do if you want to play wide shelling is craft one of the long shelling level six and go bang, bang, poke, bang, bang. And you get the added benefit that you get one more shell added into your rotation. And to me, that's just sad. It's like, I mean, what's the point of any wide shelling gun lance then? There's no point. Like, any of the wide shelling gun lances that I can craft right now. Like, again, not talking about the five monsters that I'm missing. Because I haven't seen those. I don't know if there's wide shelling level six there. But basically, any wide shelling gun lance that I can craft right now is useless. It's literally useless. So I don't, I don't understand what their logic was, but you know, there you go. That's how the the current, the current shelling um, game is. With the sharp wet fish, wet fish scales, you can get those by fishing on the central camp at the white wild spire wastes. There's blue fish with black back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some of that real quick. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just take the L and do regular sharpening because I know that I promised you guys we'll do solo Garuda. Garuga. So we'll go do that. A promise is a promise is a promise. Let's go beat on the psycho chicken. Yoink.
keep beta testing that shit so we know the builds when the game comes out. Yeah. Can I get some likes for that, uh, for that explanation, guys? Can we get some likes on stream? Likes really help out break through the YouTube algorithm. You guys, you guys know the spiel. Just imagine how much you think it would help me if you were to hit that like button right now. Multiply that by 9,000. That's how much it actually helps me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Isn't Wyvern's Fire much better with white? No. Not significant enough. Because here's the thing. The biggest problem isn't that white isn't good. White is good. The biggest problem is that you don't have access to the best wide, and therefore long shelling leaps ahead. Because of the fact that there is no wide shelling level 6 gun lance available to me right now, it's better for me to play the wide shelling style with a long shelling gun lance, and it doesn't make sense. I, I really don't understand, because they did the same thing in Monster Hunter World, and it never made sense to me. It never made sense. And then eventually they brought Colt to Roth, and you could get a wide shelling level 4 through RNG, which <laughs> you guys know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't think I have to say anything about that, do I? Anyway, I don't think my character looks terrible. It doesn't look particularly good, but it doesn't look terrible either. It's almost acceptable. I should unlock some, some of the other... Um... Some of the other layered sets. I should do that. No, I haven't fought Savage Devil, Joe. What's your master rank? Uh, 42, 43? How do you unlock the Master Zora? Uh, you have to go into the Guiding Lands and collect materials from the Guiding Lands. No bombardier. No bombardier. No, 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 no bombardier. Uh, do I need to do anything else around here? How long do we have to complete the, um, the limited quests? Still have three days. That's probably how long the current events are going to be there as well. Because I need to start working on those. No, 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 no. Monster capture. Are you insane? Large monster capture? Wait, no. Stop. Stop. What are you, what are you doing? No. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. Okay, guys, a promise is a promise is a promise. Let's go. Guiding lands. The part. Uh, I don't know if I can just... Wait. No, wait. It was an actual quest, wasn't it? It's actually an assigned quest. Huh. That should be interesting. He's got a fancy schmancy new icon and everything. Rurikon, what is your favorite looking gun lance? To be honest, I don't remember. I mean, in terms of shields, it doesn't get much better than this one. So I really like the look of this one. Uh, but let me just take a quick gander. I also like Zenoga one quite a bit, but the shield's small. So it's not as exciting. But let me just rekindle my memory and I can tell you. So this one's trash. I haven't seen the Garuda yet. Garuga. I don't know why I keep seeing Garuda. Garuga. It's because of Final Fantasy XIV. Hey, you want to load... I guess you're loading the level, so you're not going to bother. Uh, I like the the red Kadachi one. That's cool, too. This one, Crimson Ember. I really like it, but it's very similar to this one, naturally. But I still think it's one of the cooler-looking gun lances. Jesus Christ, dude. You really don't want to work, do you? There we go. Um, so I definitely like the, the Viper Kadachi Striker. That one's cool. I love this one. The Baryoth one's really cool, too. Legiana's okay. Uh, this one's, uh, Dragon, Velcana. Velcana's amazing. I love Velcana. Basil's real good, too. Tiger Blast. Here's another disappointing thing about Basil, by the way, you guys. For those of you that weren't here. 
You know what? You know what this gun lance is? It's this gun lance, except you go into Photoshop, like you extrapolate the texture of this gun lance, right? Which is, which basically becomes a flat image. You put that image in Photoshop, and then you go to Photoshop and you go to brightness and contrast, right? And you crank up the contracts to maximum, and out comes this. It's literally the only thing they did. They grabbed the texture of this, they cranked the te the um, the contrast to maximum. And out comes this. I was very disappointed by that. Because I love the look of this gun lance. I think it's a decent looking gun lance apart from the bone pieces. The bone pieces, they, you know, turn me off a bit. But still, it's it's a decent looking gun lance, but they just completely <laughs> took a dump on it. They just phoned that one in, you know? They just called Randy, who was at home, and they were like, Hey, Randy, can you uh, cook us up uh, a design for the Basil Pride? And he's like, I got you. He was smoking weed that day, too. Um, Glavinus also looks like ass. Uh, Valhazax is eh. Acid bust. Like, look, you guys remember what I told you about the Glavinus? No, wait, this is acidic Glavinus. It was Glavinus and Brocky. Glavinus and Brocky is almost the same gun lance. It's so disappointing. This one's actually all right. I like the. It works. The bone works there. This one's also good. The Dragon Seal. I think it might be Namiel. No, Namiel. No, it's it's Velcana. My favorite one right now is Velcana, but I love the design of this one. I love the design of this one. Not sure if it's my favorite looking one. It, it'd probably be between Velcana and this one, cause like, I think this one looks fucking amazing. Even though it's got a lot of the basic elements, right? It works because of the coloration on it. I really like it. It looks very exotic. So I like this one, but I think Valkana might be my current favorite. But I also like Namiel quite a bit. And by the way, when it comes to Namiel, like Charge Blade users, I feel you. Right here, Charge Blade users. I feel you right here with that Namiel Charge Blade. That might be one of the biggest disappointments in the whole goddamn game is the Namiel charge blade. Not even exaggerating. Not even exaggerating. What is the best for wide shelling gun lance? Any long shelling level six gun lance. Any any long shelling gun lance level six. That's the best one for wide shelling. We just talked about this. If you if you go back on the stream like 10 minutes, you'll see the whole explanation if, you, if you're interested. We, we, we literally just talked about it. <laughs> uh, the one that I use, by the way, for that white Challenge playstyle, in case you guys are curious, is the new Valhazak one. Oh yeah, I need to... Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. I always forget, I always forget. I gotta put more food on the table, man. Where's the thing? Give me this. Take items. Put more items. Like, legit. I need a 10 meat spit, dude. Just give me a 10 meat skewer. Give me a 10 meat skewer, please. Please. A 10 meat skewer, Capcom. It's not that much to ask. Please, please, please can I have a 10 minute skewer. A 10, a 10 meat skewer. Pretty please. Namiel's charge blade deserves a rant. Yeah, I could do like a one hour video picking apart the design of the Namiel charge blade. It looks so damn bad. That's another one that did- why did I just do that? God damn it. It's like I'm sleeping out here. I wonder if they're going to unlock new lands in here. Oh, that's right, you can't do that. Wait, where would the Garuda be? Would Ian Garuda be in the Wildspire Wastes? No, he was in the Ancient Forest in the trailer. So that's probably where he'd be. Also, let me see if I find some stuff to mine while I'm out here. I'll probably need some of that. I think that a lot of the stuff that I want to do requires Yen Garuga materials. So I might have to farm the crap out of the Psycho Chicken. What do you think of the Lance and Iceborne? I liked it quite a bit when I played it in the beta. I liked it so much, I wanted to make it my main weapon, but I ended up going with the gun lance. So you can imagine how much I liked the lance in Iceborne that I wanted to main it. 
I really like the counter the counter claw mechanics. They're a lot of fun. Although it's still it's it's a very basic weapon at the end of the day. It's still a super satisfying weapon to use. But ultimately, you know, explosions won through, man. I'm all about the big explosions. I remember that was bone here last time I was here in uh in Dark Hero stream. But I guess it swapped places. I think Dark Hero took my fucking... You took my fucking bones, didn't you, Dark Hero? I know you did. I started watching you because of your double streams with Hengist. Those weren't really stream... Well, I guess, yeah, we did stream on TGN. Uh, are there any plans for the future? I mean, here's the thing, right? I'd love to do more stuff with Hengist. But ultimately, Hengist isn't really super focused on gaming right now. Hengist is, in a lot of ways, trying to make the world a better place, in my opinion. I know that some people are going to look at that and, like, make fun of it and shit like that. But I have a tremendous amount of respect for what Hengist is doing. And... It's one of those things, I feel like, if I was to ask Hengist... To come play this with me he probably would but it's one of those things that i'm not sure that it would be the best for him you know what i mean i would love playing this with him but i'm not sure that he would be super interested in it at least not on the same level that i am so like we could potentially do like i don't know one two three four hunts and then he would probably get bored of it because of all the grinding that you have to do and so i would just rather kind of not putting him through it unless he himself approaches me like, Hey man, can we play some awesome? Then I'll be like, okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. And we'll record some stuff. But I just feel like his focus is somewhere else. And I love that he's doing that. If that makes sense. It's okay to use Valkana Gunlance even if it has Ice Element. Yeah. Shelling is going to be what's going to carry you uh, through most of gun lancing, so it doesn't really... Mm, it's not super important if it's got an element on it. What? Ah! No, that's a TTF Is he going to be in the friggin' Rotten Vale? It's weird that the Boa Boa are here, though. I know that, you know, they just kind of like random... Oh! I had already come through here, though. Yes, this is normal shelling. Another beautiful cutscene that was spoiled in trailers. Sounds good to me, man. 
Oh, are you leaving, Devil Joe? You pussy. Give me ammo. Bang! I think his roar was cooler in, um, in GU. Why can't the- why was I able to just call the raider ride? Oh wait, is it this one? Come here, boy. Take us- take us to- Let's go, let's go. Get in there. Get in there, Shamus. You guys need to understand, that particular attack does a crap ton of mounting damage. I love his little kamikaze dive bombs. I should have known he wasn't close enough. Oh, hello. Okay. okay, that sounds a little, that sounds a little bit better. I still like the GU one more, hands down. Boof. <laughs> him with it. Shit, he's enraged. I love the sound of his fireballs. Really? You're gonna do me like that, TT? You're gonna do me like that? Totally agree, his raw was way cooler. Yeah, cause like, it sounded almost metallic the way that he did his raw. I was like, Brrrr! It was really cool. Like, those of you that never played GU against Garuga, you will not know. Or, or probably even the earlier games. I would imagine it was the same in the earlier games. But like, his roar was badass. Now it's it's a little it feels like it's a little bit more restrained in terms of how how his roar goes. They were a little bit more wild back in the day. I guess they're trying to make it a, a little bit more believable. But it's like, come on, dude, we're fighting giant ass monsters. Who cares about believability? Maybe he roars louder or something in another phase. It had more, much more blare in his voice. Yeah, exactly. Have you seen the Zora head in the veil yet? No. Do 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 I told you guys about the mounting damage. Try mounting a Yangaruga with two po hair pokes. Good luck with that.
Ram your head against the wall. Do it. Do it. Do it, motherfucker. Bang, bang. Shut the fuck up. That hurts. Ouch, that hurts. God damn, son. It's a little bit vicious. Oh, come on, dude! <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Why the people... Fucking hell, dude. It's like... I take such care not to do it to anybody else. I take such care not to do it to anybody else. Such a fucking bummer, dude. Spoilers, by the way. Sorry, that bummed me out a little bit. That's the third... Fourth? It's the third monster that got spoiled for me. Anyway, continuing onwards, I'm just gonna refuel my stuff and go. It's like, look, if you come into a stream, right? You're coming into a stream and you're curious if somebody has fought something, the easiest way to know is ask them, how far have you gotten into the game yet? And they'll tell you the last monster they fight, and then you don't have situations like this. Like, I suspected that they were in the game. I suspected that they were in the game because of the Gunlance weapon tree. Because I saw some stuff in there that looked like an indication that that was going to be the case. But, you know, I hadn't seen it. Crap, I forgot to adjust the Palico weapon as well. I want to go back to the um, Mule Kano. Because I don't really care that much about the Thunderblade. <laughs> I said the plunder blade thing for the last boss that I wouldn't have to farm it as much. But I think I'm kind of done with that boss for a while. This is the Valkana Gunlands. that it's not 
I understand that it's not on uh, on purpose. You're not doing it on purpose. It's just, you know, it's frustrating, you know? Like, I'm not... I don't mean to be mean or anything. It's just it's extremely frustrating. Because I feel like they spoiled so much already with the um, marketing material. That, like, any surprise that was left, I'm trying to savor all of them. Like, I hope... I hope the guy didn't... I hope you, you are in chat, whoever it was that did that. I understand you didn't do it on purpose, it's just... It's very frustrating for me, it's all. I was looking at chat. I can't look at chat when I'm fighting this guy. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage, too. Fucking hell. That dive bomb is insane. Okay. How do you get that firework tube? That's with the mule cano. You just, uh, well, not mule cano. What do you call it? The Mulatov cocktail, which is what I actually want to do again. Thunderblade Mulatov cocktail. <clears throat> okay, now that we have that. I'm just gonna get the meat from here because I'm so low on meat. <laughs> I got no meat! No meat in me bones! It's like Xeno and Zora, the final boss. It just goes in a rotation. Is he sleeping? No. Of course not. You know that attack here deals a lot of damage. By the way, to the guy asking if I thought Garuga and Zenogre were weak? No. Actually, I think Garuga is pretty fucking powerful. <laughs> Man, Garuga hits, dude. Jesus Christ. He hits like a goddamn truck. Completely out of his goddamn mind. Wait, don't I have one speed sharpening? Do I still need three for one speed sharpening? That's a cool little flamethrower attack. I can't even get to it. I think I might need a different weapon for this bad boy. It's quite enough out of you. It's 
not dropping ammo anymore, which is bad. Why is he enraged again? Settle down. so fast that as I was going up, his AI told him just go upstairs and cut him off at the pass. Did you guys see that? As I was just doing the wall climbing attack, his AI was like, go upstairs, cut him off before he gets there. God damn, dude. They ain't messing around. Do we see an updated Master Rank build for turning our Palicos into the Terminator? I mean, your Palicos never really gonna deal that much damage. Your Palicos there for backup. I mean, you can turn them into the Terminator, I guess, if you use Muletov Cocktail and Palico Rally, but that's not really something that I tend to use in my builds. Okay, so that roar might actually signify an incoming dive. So the second he roars, put up your dukes or dodge. Hallelujah, Lord, I got you! I got you! I love it. Much bigger monsters you can't get on their tails. Yun Garuga, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow. He's like, no, fuck you. I ain't going out like that. I ain't going out like no bitch. Yun Garuga ain't no bitch. sharpen more often. Young Garuga ain't no bitch! Is it just me or do I no longer have... No, I don't have my worm stick anymore. Oh, thank God! Damn it. Oh no, there is ammo over there. Whoa! Whoa! Excuse me, sir. I'm just trying to pick up this ammo. Thank you very much. Excuse me. I think that the fact that... <clears throat> no, never mind.
Sorry guys, mm, issues. Issues, but we'll sort it out. Okay. Paralyzed? Yep, saw that one coming. Did he seriously smack me and it still didn't wake me up? That's some powerful friggin' poison. Oh no, I have flinch free now, that's why. These freaking Vespoids ain't messing around. Hey, that's my wife, Ezekiel. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's my wife, dude. <laughs> No, it's just there's going to be a, a delivery to the hotel. And because of that, I need to pay attention. Just setting up the cameras. No, I don't own a hotel. I'm doing like light security work at a hotel, but usually it starts at around 8, except today nobody's going to be at the hotel from now until 8, which is like 3 hours. And therefore, I need to be paying attention to what's going down. Is that true that Gunlance doesn't have white 4 weapon? You mean white shelling 6. If it has one, we haven't unlocked it yet. Is he in rage? Focus back up. Game face on. Let's go! Didn't have to send me that far, but alright. Bang, bang! Oof. Nah, not this time. Dude, they get so upset at the Mulecano. Look at that. They fucking hate it. Look at how mad he is. You see how mad he is at the Mulecano? He hates it so bad. Have another one of these. Oh, it hurts. It hurts now, does it? So sorry. Get your ass back down here and take another beating! The monsters get up far too fast for flash pods nowadays. Ugh. He 
needs the walls much closer, this one. Oh, you're actually not leaving after all? That's good. Or maybe you are. And I'm not gonna flash him again. I would grapple, but whatever. Doesn't matter. He's gonna be leaving anyway. Is there any starter set that you would recommend for starting on Master Rank? Um, I'd go with a Poison set, probably. I'd try to go Rathian. Something Rathian to expand Poison, and maybe even a Rathian weapon is probably what I would go with. It is what I did do, even with my Gunlance. But I don't know how good Rathian weapons are for other weapons. I know that Poison is going to be very valuable to you early on, because it also... Makes monsters more tired, more docile overall. Oh, I love the way that he sleeps. He's so peaceful. And now I'm gonna Wyvern's fire him in the dick. And that's Garuga right there. We died twice, mostly because I underestimated how powerful his dive bomb is. His dive bomb is like the deadliest move that he has. And I also... I mean, I haven't hunted that many Garuga, but he didn't have that dive bomb in previous games, did he? I don't think he had that dive bomb before. But I, it could just be me, like, being a scrub and not knowing. But that dive bomb, dude, that's like the biggest thing about him. You gotta pay very close attention when that dive bomb's coming because you look at your health and you're like, well, I'm above 30%. I should be fine. It's like, BAM! 80% damage. <laughs> Just like murders you. What's the best master rank armor for hammers? Uh, you're using the Glavinus set for maximum might? Uh, for hammers... Wh which one's the set with stamina thief? I'd probably go for that one. Is there one with improved KO? I don't know if there's one with improved KO. I don't remember right now. Oh, I can send them to the... I can send them to the guiding lands now. That's useful. <laughs> for Hammer, Diablos has improved KO, then I would do that. Then that, That's not even a choice. I'd go for however many pieces you need for improved KO on Diablos. And I don't think you can get Stamina Thief on top of that. So probably that and mix and match with whatever set I wanted. I wouldn't go Maximum Might for Hammer, I don't think. Anyways, and now we can start fertilizing again. Soft store, the soft soil. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, Diablo said improved slugger. Yeah, that's what that's what I would go for for hammers for sure. Like the the secret skills, the secret skills is like, it's a big deal. Like the improved shelling that I just got, it's a big fucking deal. Okay, so guys, weapon and armor review for the psycho chicken. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with here. No set bonus. Why is there no set bonus? Okay, so there's no set bonus. Uh, oh, wow! I like that. Let me let me put it to default because it's probably using my pigments. I like that a lot. I think that is a really cool armor set. What do you guys think? 
Lubu Armor? I I've never played much um, Dynasty Warriors. I played a little bit. I don't know if this looks that much like Lubu, but I guess it does. I do remember Lubu having the belt thing, though, going on at least. I think that's. Th I think that looks fucking amazing. I think that Lubu looks amazing. I mean, I think that Yan Garuga's set looks amazing. Alpha one also looks very good with minor variations. I like both of them, actually. Dude, I love this set. I think this set is fantastic. I think I prefer the beta look overall. But regardless of that, I think it's just a really fucking good looking set. Like, big win. Big fucking win, dude. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, dude. Big fucking win on this armor set. From a design standpoint, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, now let's take a look at stats. Ooh, two critical eyes. Anyway, critical eye resentment. Earplugs, critical eye. Why would you put earplugs on an Ian Garuga set? <laughs> well, why do people want earplugs? Uh, two earplugs on gloves. Garuda Tacit's beta. Uh, two resentment. Critical eye. I like it. It's got good skills, too. This is a very good set. Very, very, very good set. I like it a lot. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. <clears throat> now it begins. Now it truly begins, team. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, looks like Greatsword's not even getting it, because I think that he's pretty high up on the tree. Unless there was, like, a poison tree? Sorry, great sword users. <clears throat> Feels bad. What is resentment? Resentment is whenever you take damage, there's the red part of your health gauge, uh, which takes a while to recover, right? Um, while you have that red part in your health, you do additional damage. Younger, yeah, Yangaruga is very close to the top. That's why I said he probably doesn't have it. Dude! That is really cool, but I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to make a lot of sense. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to make a lot of sense for you to swing this weapon like a... Like a longsword, but it's really cool. It's a glaive. Yeah, it is a glaive. And, it, and look, it looks just like Garuga's head. The way that it's designed, it looks just like Garuga's head. I think it looks good. I think it looks good, but again, I don't know how this is going to animate properly with a longsword animation set. I don't think it's going to make a lot of sense. Because you don't... It makes sense with the animations? Are you sure? I'm not sure about that, but okay. But either way, from a design standpoint, I love it. Let me take a look at the stats, though. Uh, what are we looking on stats? Uh, so we got 858 damage. Let's look at, the, at what's the highest damage that you can get, which is probably going to be Acidic Glavinous, I would assume. Uh, is there Acidic Glavinous Longsword? There has to be, right? Yeah, Acidic Glavinous Tree, which looks like ass, by the way. Uh, 891 is probably going to be close to ma max. Oh, no, wait. 957. That's the max damage. 957. Uh, it's If it's not 957, it's going to be around that ballpark. The highest damage that you can get on on longsword. So the final version of it, we don't know yet. This one's 858, though. So I would assume the final version is going to be above 900, so it'll be viable. It's got uh, quite a bit of poison and 20% affinity so that you can proc that critical status. So that is good. That is very good. At least I think that's very good, but that's one man's opinion. Okay. Uh... What else we got? Sword and Shield. So if the damage is going to be good, it's probably going to be good all around. Looks like Sword and Shield is going to take a big F. Aww. I would love to see a good Poison Sword and Shield out of him. But then again, we have too much poison already. We got we got Puke. We got, um, we got Rathian. And we probably have something else in here already with poison. So it doesn't surprise me that most likely we get nothing. Yeah, we don't we don't have it. Sword and shield gets nothing. That's fine. 
I'm not sad. <laughs> Wait, SNS also doesn't get it? Oh no, there we go. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by chat. Raven Tessen. I mean, I guess if you guys like, um, I forgot what the name of it. <laughs> I forget what the name of this is. <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Chinese fans, yeah. If you guys like the fans, I think it's cool. At the very least, it's extremely original. And we already know that the element's gonna be decent, so you can use it. We already know that the weapon is usable from looking at the longsword damage. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Like, I'm not super into the whole fans thing, but... It's a beautiful... Like, from a design standpoint... Beautiful. I love it. Big win... For, uh, dual blades. So, big win for dual blades, big win for long swords, great sword and sword and shield. Take an F, because we don't have that weapon, but, you know, better not to get it than to get some kind of randy pitchbone garbage. Now, continuing onwards, uh, Ian Garuga, Ian Garuga, no hammer? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Blackwing Deathblow. Do we have this type of design on other hammers? The bone, I mean? Do we have this type of, like, closed mouth bone like that? We don't have it, do we? Yeah, many hammers also have that. Really? Give me one. Okay, here we go. Okay, we do have it. Okay. It's just, I, I'd never seen it before, because I don't play that much Hammer. Even though I love Hammer, I don't play that much Hammer. Um, that's that's the reason I was at. If you didn't have that design, I think that would have been cool. But because that's a reused design... Yeah, no wait, it's not Nargakuga, it's Ian Garuga. Where the f- I lost the hammer, guys. I can't find it. It's gone forever. I'm not kidding, though. Where the fuck was it? Here we go. Yeah, like that, it's an F. See, they had a good opportunity here to put a Garuga beacon there. Why not? Like, legitimately, just think about it, right? The model of the Garuga is already made. Chop its beak, put it there. Yeah, exactly. Make it a beak, and it would have been perfect. Like, wh why? Why? It doesn't look terrible, because it's got a lot of work put into the back of it, and they did some work on the hilt as well. So it's not terrible. It's not the worst that we've seen from Randy Pitchbone. We've seen much worse from Randy Pitchman, okay? Again, just just have those PTSD flashbacks, that Namiel Charger Blade. Just think about that, okay? Just think about that and then look at this, and they'll be like, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. But it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot better. Uh, I can already see the golden versions of those Randy Pitchman weapons, dude. Don't, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop saying that. I don't want to listen to that. Oh, let's look at the, me the melodies. Self-improvement, health recovery, affinity up, and health recovery, earplugs, echo wave drag. Of course, it had to have earplugs L. Uh, can earplugs L cover all of the roars? Dark heroes in chat. He should know these things. You haven't seen the Namiel Charge Blade? I'll show it to you ev uh, after it. Garbage Melodies. Okay. So Dark Hero doesn't like the Melodies, and he's a Hunting Horn main, so he should know. Feels bad, man. But I think the weapon design is actually good. Yeah, this is good. I think in terms of design, it looks good. So it's like the guy who fucked it up was the guy who did the Melodies. But I think the weapon is beautiful. 
I think it works. I think it works very well. Okay, Lance. The Incessant Raven. I really need to see that spike in more detail. Oops. Damn it. Oh, come on! Let's put it like this, okay? It's not my favorite looking shield, but it's amazing, dude. Beautifully designed. I would rock... Oh my god, and look at the amount of shit on the bottom part of the lance. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. What do you mean, F? Oh, for gun lance? No, no, no. I haven't gotten to the gun lance yet. Well, oh, that's right. Oh my god. That's usually... Here's how it usually goes, guys. If the lance looks really good, it probably means the gun lance is gonna look like shit. That's, that's the... That's the way it's been going, and it's very sad. It's very sad, but that's the way that it's been going. Okay, let's look. Uh, Ian Garuga. Where do we have it? Ian Garuga. Guys, there might be some times where I miss it, because I'm... I'm a, <laughs> right at the start, you idiot. Try right at the beginning. It's like I want to like it, <laughs> Again, it's not the worst we've seen. It's 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 the same situation as the hammer, right? It's not the worst we've seen. Shit actually kind of meshes. But, you know, it is what it is. We still haven't seen the final form, but I don't think it changes. Most of the stuff that looks like this doesn't change. It's kind of an F. Kind of an F. Uh, okay, Charge Blade. Charge Blade might not get it. Narga, Rathian, Bone, Diablos, Rocky, Valhazak, Viper. Nope. See, because here's the way it works on the Charge Blade. Very rarely do they make a bad one. And by the way, to the guy that was asking me about Oh, I haven't seen the Namiel charge blade. Here you go. Here you go, dude. That's the Namiel charge blade. You probably can't tell because there's almost nothing there that shows you that it's Namiel. But here's the interesting part about this charge blade. It actually looks better on this little preview than it looks on your character. Look at this. What the fuck is this? What is this, dude? I have PTSD every time I look at it. I feel bad. Like, I just think of anyone that would want to use this charge blade, and my stomach feels physically ill from even thinking that people have to use it. It's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, Garuga's Insect Clave, if he has one. Uh, Zenogre, Narga, Velkana, Valhazak, Anjana, Tigrex. Uh, okay, here's, um, here's, here's the events that I believe happened, right? They took the insect glaive that they were making, and they gave it to the longsword users, and then they decided not to make an insect glaive. There isn't one. <laughs> Check the poison trees, maybe? Is there a poison tree in here? It doesn't have a poison tree. It has a puke puke tree, but that's just gonna be puke puke. <laughs> If it wasn't one of those, it would have to be- it would have to specifically say on the left side, Poison Tree. That would be the only way that you would see it in one of those trees, but no. No Insect Glaive. Now, 
No need to hunt the psycho chicken. Did you see the stats on its set, Kegrin? You're gonna hunt the psycho chicken. It's not even a choice. That's an F. I can already see that it's an F. Let me see what we got. We got a rapid fire sticky two and rapid fire piercing. You got piercing and you got stickies. I mean, I guess it's all right uh, for you to do piercing and stickies. But in terms of looks, again, it's one of those things. It's not terrible, but it, it, it gets the basic bitch treatment, you know? Because, like, when you look at, at certain guns, right? When you look at something like, for instance... The one that I really liked last night, which one was? It was the Zenogre, right? Wasn't it Zenogre? Uh, I liked Zenogre, and there was another one last night. It wasn't the Zenogre one. I forget which one it was. Uh, oh no, I remember. It was um, actually one of my favorite ones. Is the Schwalda, or is it? Or, or was it Namiel? I gotta get rid of this. Namiel looks good, but it wasn't this. It was it was Ishval. Yeah, it's this one. Like, see, when you have cool looking uh, light bowguns, cool and unique looking light bowguns like this. Like this looks like a sniper rifle. It's beautiful. I love it. When you have cool ones like that, and then you know they just give you the basic bitch treatment like this. It's like all right. I guess it's okay. Anyway. Heavy bowgun. If the light bowgun looks like ass, if there is a heavy bowgun, most likely it's gonna be good. Nope. There isn't one though. Is there a poison tree? No, there's a bone tree. Tigrex, Ligiana, Zenogre, Narga. Water. There's a water element tree, but no. No. Okay. Let's see. Bow. Bow's gonna be good. I'm pretty sure if there is one, it's going to be good. I can tell you right now. And that's why there isn't one. Wait, give me a second. I, I made a mistake here. There we go. Yep, there isn't one. And now finally. There it is. Okay, can we get some likes before we reveal the Iron Gun, the, um, the Yan Garuga Gunlands? Can I see some likes on stream to cheer me up for what's about to happen? Remember, always think. Imagine how much you think it helps me when you like the live stream. Multiply that by 9,000. That's how much it actually helps me. Anyways, let's see. What are we looking at? What are we looking at, guys? What are we looking at? Tell me, chat. F, 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 big, F, 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 oh, fuck, dude. I haven't even seen it yet, and I can already feel the disappointment. Ugh. Long shelling level 5, so that's another gun lance that's most definitely not going to be white shelling level 6. So, the only monster at this point that can be white shelling six is where is he i've seen him i still have it yeah it's this one and this one's gonna come from tigrex tigrex has blast and tigrex is long i think i would faster see this one being long shelling than wide but this is the last chance this right here is the last chance for a wide shelling gun lance it's the last chance. Every other tree is already done for. So this is the last chance. What about Nergi? Uh, dude, I mean, do you really believe that Nergi's gonna go from 2 to 6? Like, do you actually believe they would do the jump from 2 to 6? It goes from being the least amount of shelling to the most amount of shelling. I mean, maybe, but I think that's a big stretch. I think top, it will go to five. Are there any good gun lances in terms of design that were added to Iceborne? So far, I've only seen Fs. There are. There are good gun lances. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show them to you. 
Um, uh, okay, so we have... Uh, this one's good, even though it's just a, a derivation from this one, because I, I love the original Kadachi Striker. This one also looks very good. So I love the way that this one looks, the Crimson Hornet. Uh, it is a recoloring of the of the Kadachi Striker, but I still like the way that, that it looks. Um, there's the Baryoth, which I also really like. It's a very big win. Uh... Nargakuga. Nargakuga actually kind of works. Nargakuga kind of works because it works with the metal like it's okay. It's not the best, but it works. The Nargakuga weapon, I'm okay with it. Uh, where were we? We're at Nargakuga. Uh, there's the Bone Tree. Bone Tree's trash. Uh, Basil Goose was very disappointing because it, it, it's it's a contrast. They, they brightened, not, not brightened, they they maxed out the contrast on the on the texture of the previous gun lance and just slapped it on there. Uh, Great Jagras doesn't look good. Tigrex looks good, too. I mean, it's unique, at the very least. Maybe you don't like the design, but it's unique. Uh, it's not some basic trash, so I like Tigrex. Um, this is trash. Glavinus is garbage. Uh, Deathlance is not that great. Uh, Baroth is also not that great. I kind of like... I kind of like Bombarus. I think Bombarus works with Bone. And I specifically like the design of the shield, because it's got, like, the braided beard going down. I think Bombaru actually works with all that bone. So Bombaru is cool in my book. Um, and then Zenogre looks good. Zenogre looks very good. I really like it, because you can't really see it there. But it's got, like, um, a shotgun-style barrel with two barrels. It's beautiful. I like it. Uh, Anjanath, meh. Fulgor Anjanath, meh. Dragon Seal, meh. The final boss gun lance actually looks good. I know that this preview doesn't do it justice, but it looks good. So there's a lot of wins. There's a lot of good looking gun lance for sure. This one looks amazing. Like this one, I'll actually preview it before we're done. But Namiel's looks fucking amazing, which is why I'm actually crafting it. Uh, Devil Joe's also looks good. It's it's kind of basic. They added a little glowing to it, but you know, it works. Uh, and this one also looks really cool. I'm not going to use it, but it looks really cool. The Gajalaka Fire Pike. It looks amazing. It's beautiful. I, if it was viable, I would totally use it. If this weapon was viable, I would totally use it. But it's a joke weapon. It, it's straight up a joke weapon, and it's not viable, because this is normal shelling level 5. Like, what am I going to do? Normal shelling level 5 blue sharpness. What are you going to do with this? You're not, you, you can't work with this weapon. It's impossible. So, you know. Um, and then finally, like I said, I was going to preview Namiel's. Because Namiel's is just outstanding. So there's again, there's a lot of wins. There's definitely a lot of wins when it comes to gun lances. Like, look, it's beautiful. It's the beautiful gun lance. There's a lot of wins, but there's also a lot of Fs. That's the problem. <laughs> Not gonna preview it. What? Devil Joe gun lance can be played both as swing lance and wide now. No. What do you mean? It's long. Isn't it long? Yeah, it's... Oh! Never mind. You're right. You're at... Forget what I said. You're absolutely right. Yes. Yes, you're correct. It can be used... <laughs> I preview it already? I thought I had previewed it. Doesn't matter. It's like whatever, dude. It's terrible. It's the big F. It's very disappointing. Can someone explain for those of us who don't understand? Okay, so here's the joke, right? The wide shelling playstyle. You can't really use a wide shelling gun lance for it. I mean, you can if you want to, but you shouldn't because the best way to play wide shelling right now is long shelling level six. And so when someone in chat said, "Oh, so I now I can do wide shelling and swing lance with the um, with the devil joint," I'm like, "Wide shelling, but it's it's long." And then I I remembered, oh yeah, because long shelling level six is the best way to do wide shelling. <laughs> 
That's why it's so funny. Anyway, we completed that. Is there nothing else? I guess there's nothing else. Very well. Uh, I'd like to go kill a Namiel, to be honest. I wanted to finish... Well, actually, not even a Namiel. I can go kill any Elder Dragon. Let me see if anybody in, in my lobby is doing an Elder Dragon right now. I just need an Elder Dragon gem. Well, actually, I don't know which one of them drop the Elder Dragon gem that I want. Or better yet, can I just grab one? Can I just nab one from you? Because, like, that gem is being a bitch to show up. <sighs> yeah, I can get one. But I don't have a ticket, do I? Actually, I do. Well, I might just do that. Thinking about it. Thinking about it real hard. Maybe not. I swear to God, if they make monster rank... Oh, dude, they can't, like... That's the biggest fear. Like, I almost feel like Monster Hunter World players all have Cold Throth PTSD. We're all just like, dude, no, don't do it. Capcom, not again. Please, not this. Not like this. That's the way that we feel right now. We're like, Capcom, not like this. No like this. Uh, so the materials that we need are not from Garuga. Which basically means I gotta go level up the the land some more. I just gotta go level them up. Wait, what? There's a bunch of materials that I still need from monsters that I haven't fought yet. Well, time to go level up the Guiding Lands for a bit. If anybody wants to join me in the Guiding Lands, feel free to. I'm gonna go level them up. This is gonna murder, death, kill everything that shows up in there. Bum, 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 They said they weren't going to do the Cold Throth weapon pool again. Did they? Is that is there an official tweet or something? Is there like an interview? Like some official source that I can get that? I'm genuinely asking. Like I really need to know. Did you check out the custom upgrades yet? Yeah, I don't like them. Man, I just can't take down Velcana no matter what. Uh, it's a tricky fight the first time. It's a tricky fight the first time around. Okay. Oh, we got it! We got Feline Bombardier! Shit, we can't die now. It's so rare that we actually get the Feline Bombardier. Five minutes, 32 seconds for Namiel with... Longsword. I, I told him. Remember, guys? Remember how I told you after I saw the changes they were doing to the longsword? I specifically said longsword is going to be powerful as a motherfucker. People are like, oh, they're nerfing this and nerfing that. It's five minutes, 32 seconds on Namiel. There you go. There you go. There's your longsword. In interestingly enough, everybody's saying, oh my god, Gunlance, Wy Wyvern Stake Blast is so broken. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yet I don't see you playing it. Bunch of bullshit. Uh, so I know that someone was, like, repeatedly asking for Savage Joe Longsword. I mean, just think of the previous Longsword and add a red glow to it, dude. That's what you're gonna get. Right there. Remember? Just like the previous one, add a red glow. You don't get to see the glow in the preview. I think it needs to be unsheathed for it to be glowing. It's, like, covered in blood. See if I can find it for you. It was either a tweet uh, or in one of the old videos in Japanese. They also said they were going to do something about the weapons we got from Kolf so they're not wasted. I, I would love to see them wasted. Fuel them back into the base or something. I don't know. It's like, I, I, I don't mind the grind that I did. Like, I would like to see those weapons disappear. That's my personal take on it. I know that some people are like, No, dude, you fucking crazy, man! You, 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 what? Disappear? No! I think I have to spend some fuel, guys. 
Because, like, it's stacking up. It's really stacking up. Like, look at this. This is insane. I gotta, I gotta do at least one run of it. We have 2,900 fuel, dude. This is crazy. So I'll just do this real quick. I say real quick, but we all know how it goes. KT and PC broke me too. Every top tier weapon but the two I wanted. Yeah, dude. I'm basically spamming the buttons, guys. Hiya! Wow. Did you see me just get that one right twice in a row? Yeah. You have to charge it up three times. Again, I still think that this game would be much more fun if you were to consume more steam and if you were to consume more steam and gain more steam. Like, just reduce the amount of times you have to press the buttons because it's so much. Like, you can get carpal tunnel doing this shit right now. Not even exaggerating. How does this minigame even work? Okay, so the way this minigame works, right, you have those three buttons over there, and they're set to be pressed in a, in a predetermined order, but it's random. You have no hints, no nothing as to when you need to press the buttons. It's just, it's an, it's an order that's predetermined, and you just have to guess. It's random. If you get it right, you, you get more steam. If you get it wrong, you get less steam, but you're, it's always raising, so... The point is, you can even just like spam it, and even if you get everything wrong, eventually you'll max it out. But if you're able to guess it right, you max it out faster. And once you max it out, you get more rewards. And then there's events that can happen where, oh, now it, it's going to generate more steam, or now the cats are going to tell you uh, how to press the buttons. The cat one is the best one, because the cats will actually tell you which buttons to press, and it becomes a lot easier to build up steam. See, like right now, right now, if I get this combination right, I'll get a chunk of steam. But it's random, so I might get it, I might not get it. I failed instantly, so nothing. But it's totally random. Can't wait to macro, macro this on PC. They'll probably just do a mod that will reveal this shit for you. See, now the cats are coming in to help, and they're gonna tell me which buttons to press. See, X, triangle, square. X square triangle square triangle X and you just press the buttons as they tell you this one's the easiest mode so I, I love when we get the cats to come help I fucked it up still even like that I still fucked it up that's how bad I am at this we still have to fill it all the way to the other side and then one more Has Rurikon soloed Ancient Legend or Extreme Behemoth or just any other Arch Tempereds yet? I soloed all of the Arch Tempereds with the exception of Extreme Behemoth, and which isn't even an Arch Tempered, technically speaking. He's Tempered Behemoth, but whatever. Uh, I didn't solo Extreme Behemoth or Ancient Legend because those uh, were designed to be tackled in groups, and I didn't feel like doing it. I just didn't have the patience for it. Those are long fights. Uh, but I did solo all of the other Arch-Tempereds. I mean, there's guides for every Arch-Tempered monster. And builds for every Arch-Tempered monster in my channel. Yeah, haha! I love the animations on this, they're so good. Not to push 
Okay, we just need to fill the red bar. What are the steam tickets? You can craft some new armors and but basically you get a lot of materials here that actually prevent you from having to farm other materials. That's the reason why I do it. The reason I did it now is just because I didn't want it to waste the amount of fuel that was there because it was about to cap. And then once it caps you don't get additional fuel so this will give me some time before I have to do it again. Send the cats over, dude. I just need the cats to come help, man. That's what I really want. It's almost there. Wonder if the new meta endgame set will be able to destroy ATs or Arch... I mean, it probably will. I haven't even tried, but... It's because I'm just... I just don't think... I think doing it now with the bigger sets, it kind of devalues the achievement of doing it solo, so... She's at full power. Just a bit more. And you can never skip this cutscene, that's the rule. Look, the other handler! I love the fact that they randomize it. Look at the other handler. It's gonna be beautiful. Watch, she's like, no, stop! Wait! Wait. What are you doing? <laughs> Watch the palicos now. Boink, boink, boom! <laughs> Dude, the best cutscene, dude. See, here's what we got from that little time investment that we did there. I don't know how long that was. It was probably like two, three minutes or something along those lines. We got two silver eggs, three steam tickets, two gourmet vouchers, one king armor sphere, two heavy armor spheres, two hard armor spheres, 14 advanced and 23 regulars. Those are not that valuable naturally. 10 mega barrel bombs, though. I use those a fuck ton. 23 tranquility bombs. Um, dust of life, mega nutrients, max potions, and 42 mega potions, dude. Now tell me that's not worth it, because I've seen a lot of people say in chat like, oh, it's not worth it, time investment, yada, yada, yada. Okay, fine, go fucking pick up herbs and shit to craft your potions then, if you think it's not worth it. I think it's most definitely worth it. It's a good use of your time. Just make sure to do it whenever the fuel's about to fill up. And you'll always be golden. Uh, I think I might have to change my cultivation soon, though. Uh, what is this? Flow Fern? We don't really use that all that much, do we? Uh, Dragonfell Berry. What's this? Hot Pepper? Oh, you! I forgot you could do that. Let's just farm some Hot Peppers, dude. I have 2,000 blue mushrooms. How much? How many Null Berries? Nullberry is reaching an acceptable level. Oh, wow. We need more Devil's Blight, man. Okay, I'm going to put some more Devil's Blight up in here. Bam. That looks good. That looks hella good, dude. Good job. Keep it up. And this time, in Iceborne, it's not a filthy elf that takes care of your farm. Just keep that in mind. This is a very good thing. I do it for the Celestian Wall. Yeah, I think I gotten two of those by doing that, too. Which is pretty friggin' sweet, if you ask me. Uh, like I promised, though, uh, onto the Guiding Lands it is. Let's just eat something. And you guys can feel free to... Wait, I already ate... Oh, shit! Take items! Meat. Dude, I just need something that gives me even more meat. Like, what can I roast? Something expensive that just fucking fills this shit up to the brim. The problem is it's it only gives rations on the first four. It's not worth it. The rest of it is like... Well done steaks, and I'd rather have rations, because they're faster. I really, really, like... 
Come on, Capcom, make it happen. Give me the ten... The ten meets cure, please. Just give me the ten meets cure. Somewhere. And I'll get it done. I mean, we don't have an assigned quest now, do we? Yeah, we did everything. Uh, so, let's go to Guiding Lands. The parts. I got Feline Bombardier as well. Oh, okay, nice. Does Divine Slasher have another upgrade? Can you please show me? Uh, it does have one. I haven't unlocked it yet. Event Tempered Rajang. <laughs> tempered Rajang's gonna be the best. It's gonna be the best. You've read and read it. Careful what you read and read it. It better not be a spoiler. Is that how you get rations with the oven roast? Yep. Yep, yep. It used to be well done steaks. I wouldn't even mind getting the well done steaks, but I just, I just, here's the thing, like, I just need a solution, because that's the way that I work in Monster Hunter World, right? I identify the thing that I need, and I need a way to get thousands of it. That's the way that it works for me. So with these rations, it's like, look, Capcom, I just need a way that I, just let me get, like, a thousand of them, somehow. Like, I don't care if I have to go to the botanical guy, and like, hey, dude, just, just, Farm me some meat, you know? <laughs> Just tell the botanical guy, farm me some rations, and that'll be gold. I don't care. I don't care how it works. I'll, that's what I want. Anyway, uh, let me take a look at my item pouch. Sounds right. Sounds about right. Flying wyvern. We don't have a flying wyvern around here. So I guess I'll just go hunt. I mean, I think the thing is, I need to really level up an area to its maximum. And right now, the highest area that I have is the forest. So I don't have anything in the forest, though. Oof. Guess I'll kill a bear off, then. Oh, he's actually right in front of me. How convenient. Hello, Baroth. How you doing, buddy? Always having fun, dude. Mossy mud clump. Really? He drops puddle pods? That's not what I want. See, Slingerthorn. That's actually what I want. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna miss this one on purpose. Dude, can you can you not bear off? Just not and say that you did, okay? Weird that there was a puddle pod there. I'll take this. Okay, I guess Wada's gonna slam him. Nice. Oof. Damn it. Those artillery level five numbers, though, man. Love it. Not getting flinched by Watanagashiks. Also love it.
Dude, I can shell so often now, it's so good. I mean, I can Wyvern's Fire so often, it's so good. I gotta start picking up this shit. Yeah, you got the right idea. Goddamn Puddle Pods, dude! Fuck the Puddle Pods! Nobody wants them! You understand me? Literally nobody wants those pods, man. Get them out of my sight. I need to be able to ignore it. Now piercing pods, now you're speaking my language. Bang bang! By the way, can I say I love the combat music in the in the guiding lands? Like I could legit just listen to the guiding lands combat music. It's beautiful. so good. Slangerthorn? Yeah, I'll take the Slangerthorns. Those are fun. Why am I still in combat? Why can't I summon my Raider Ride? My Raider Ride's broke. What? What's up with that? Why is my Raider Ride broke? Wada summoned his. Or Silvered Savage Joe Hunt. I don't care about... I don't understand why everybody wants me to hunt Savage Joe. I really... I don't care. I don't need anything off of him. Let him live. A bear off. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going, buddy? You think I'm gonna let you get away? No, 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 you misunderstand me, my friend. Listen, the wall is your friend right here, okay? So go say hi. Damn those puddle pods, dude. I hate those puddle pods. What the fuck? I summon my Raider Ryan. That's really ticking me off right now.
Guys, I can Wyverns fire so fast with artillery level 5. God damn! God damn, son! That's some serious artillery. Get rid of this. Pretty sure that was puddle pods, right? And it was water mosque garbage. Shut up. Stupid monster. Get out of here. You make me beat the shit out of you. You better not charge me. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I don't care about your territorial. Don't you dare. Don't you. Do not fucking dare. Okay. Wada Nagashix is not having none of that shit. Thank you, Wada. Should probably carve these two. I don't know what's on them, but why not? We killed him in the forest, right? So that leveled up the forest. That's good. What armor are you using? I'm using three-piece... Um, three-piece Zora. Two-piece Uragon. By the way, what? Are you going to be crafting three-piece Zora 2 for artillery uh, level 5? Where are you guys farming in Guiding Lands? Yes, we are. Is different? No, it doesn't. Uh, it matters what slinger ammo is in the Gunlands because it lasts longer if it's uh, ammo that drops from monsters. If it's just ammo that you find out in the field, it doesn't last as long, so you have to reapply it more often. Uh, that's why I always try to get ammo that drops from monsters, and I think it also varies depending on the category that you get from the monster. So, like slinger bombs, I think are the longest ones. They're the ones that will last you the longest. Uh, whereas something like Red Pits might last you like a minute or something like that. I don't know the exact times, but I'm sure that somebody will eventually have like a an Excel spreadsheet telling you all the times, but I still don't know all of them. But basically the idea is, yeah, the, the better the ammo, the longer it will last. So that's like your incentive to load better ammo on it. Also, not just the better the ammo is, but how much ammo you put onto it. So like if you put, I think if you put one slinger bomb, you get less time than if you put three slinger bombs. At least I remember the developer saying something about that. But again, it's not something that I've tested because usually I'm just like, pick something up, put it in there. I don't shoot individual rounds of ammo all that much. I just usually fire all of them for a flinch shot. Or I put all of them into the gun lines at once. Mic cut out? What? Mic cut out? No, it didn't. Don't lie. What you talking? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's alright, dude. Uh, Paolumu. Let's beat the Paolumu. I'm not sure. Yeah, I did hunt a Paolumu last night, but let's beat the shit out of another Paolumu. Because I would also like to raise the Coral Highlands. Uh, I wonder how high these levels can even go. Why can't I catch my raider? Like, what is going on today that I can't catch my raider? I gotta be glitched or something. I don't understand what's going on. It won't let me catch a ride. He didn't even react. Need the maths for the worms. Yeah, someone get uh, Jinjix and Tuna on the phone. <laughs> okay, actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the situation I was waiting for. Shit. Or maybe it isn't. Actually, I don't know. It might just be someone parking at the hotel. But I need to be ready. Can't see a goddamn thing when he's wiggling all over the place like that. You better not cart me, you prick. You better not. 
This is your first and only warning. Stamina fooling around. Oh, you're mounting. Okay. No, I don't have to worry. Actually, I'll take that time to sharpen. Get protective polish. I just realized I should get item for longer. For protective polish. See guys, this is what considerate Gunlance users do. We aim upwards and away from the other players, so that we don't dick over their efforts to destroy the monster. I'm sorry. I tried, Wada, but you really moved. <laughs> you were a little bit all over the place there. I couldn't help it. Sometimes it still happens, though, you guys. You know, we try. Some of us try. Others actually aim for people, you know? I'm trying not to aim. See, one of my favorite things about the um, Mulatov cocktail is that essentially it's both me and my palico blowing the shit out of the monster up. Yeah, prick bastard. Can I finally do my raider ride, please? What is going on? What am I missing that I can't do raider rides anymore? Anybody knows? This doesn't make any sense to me. One star Uber. <laughs> Hi everyone, so how's Artillery 5? Juicy! Really? You're gonna do me like this, Paolo? Oh, you're not gonna like what happens next. Oh, okay. I think he's glitched. Like a bitch! Legiana just did you like a bitch! Wada, focus Leggy. Because we're going after her next. Actually, Paul Lumu left, never mind. It's like if we could get them both in the same area, we could get them to like deal damage to each other, but if Paul Lumu's gonna bail. We're better off leaving.
Wait, Paul Lumu's still in rage. I got an idea. Keep fighting her. I'll be right back. Actually, wait, where is he? Is he upstairs? He's upstairs, okay. Just sharpen. I'm gonna go get his attention. He's enraged. I'm, I bring help. I'm here to help. I've never seen that mechanic before, Levi. That's the thing. Focus the leggy. And then we get to Paul Luna. Okay, so here's the plan. We get the Legiana to enrage. After that, we take her to the Paolumu again. We can't give that Paolumu any breaks to recover. actually too soon. I should have done um, should have done one more rotation and slam burst before that. She's enraged. Take her to the Paoluma. Let's go. Wait, where did that Paoluma go? Oh shit, wait, this is a different one. Oh, they're both here. Okay, we gotta fight that one too. We're fighting all three monsters right now. Yana. Focus the leggy. Damn it, I hate that they keep running away. Okay, we gotta start killing shit, otherwise we're never gonna get out of here. Okay, let's murder the leggy, and then we'll murder the Paulum. Paulum is not gonna leave anytime soon. down I'm confused 
Why did she just do what I said? One more? There we go. I'm not entirely sure why she obeyed me, but thank you. Why is there no ammo? Fuck, I need ammo. Give me ammo. Hundred and sixty seven. So good. down here there's a no-fly zone come back down didn't I say this was a no-fly zone did you not hear me sir Wow, I, I actually tied it to her tail. That was worse than if I hadn't tied it at all. It would have been better to have missed than to have put it there. Oh look! The Paolumu brothers are back! Focus Paolumu. trying to get away. Nope, nobody leaves. You stay until the job's done. That's one leg Yana down. I need to sharpen. Focus the white power lumino. That's racist. I'm not gonna leave. Black Paul Lumu is on the ground. Oh, he's on the ground again. Okay, good. Get him. Uh, is he white? Sweet.
God damn it. Remember to carve Legiana when you have a minute. Yep. No, no. That's actually a lot of damage. Like, you know the meme? This, this one was not a meme. That was legitimately a lot of damage. Uh, I need to carve a couple more, though. Did the other Paolumu leave? Yeah, he did. We need to chase after the other Paolumu. Once this guy swaps area, we go for the other Paolumu. Unless you're already going, I don't know. But I'm gonna fight this until he swaps areas. I also need to recover my ammo. Me oh, was the sleep. Wait, I had ammo. Give me this. So close. Bastard. Okay, other Paul Luma now. Uh, unfortunately, I still can't catch my Raider Ride because it's bugged. I don't know why, but whatever. Actually, it's this way. I'm going the wrong way. You were the meme? I was? That's a lot of damage. Well, where's the other one? Above us? Oh, he's in the core. Okay, we have to go above this way. Actually, you go for the other one. I'll enrage this one. I'll take it and take him there. It is the Raider Ride. The Tail Raider is a completely different symbol. Fuck it. I'm about 
done with this flying nonsense. Takes care of that. I don't know why the other one didn't follow me. Like, he's in rage, but it appears to not be moving. I don't know what's the deal with that. You found the best thing in Iceborne? So long as it's not a spoiler, please tell me. You can't catch it because the party has a limit of four and the palico counts. Well, why can Wada catch it? He can catch his. Not to mention, I was in a party last night of four people and three of us were riding the damn things around. That is definitely not it. It's about riding a creature? Well, you can ride a popo. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, this guy got glitched. He was trying to follow me through the air, but he couldn't fly through it. They might need to patch that. Whee! like a balloon! I love the gun lance, dude. I fucking love it. Oh no. I need someone to hit me with something. No. Guess I got the sleep now. There we go. Nailed it! Okay, my worm stick's no longer there. That means we have to put another one in. Should I be saving up for Streamstone for all? Are they, are they obsolete now? There's a, a new decoration melding thing that uses Streamstones. Shit, the wings. It's the worst spot to get this on. Well, on the flip side, I broke the fucking wings, so there you go. Need more ammo. Where'd he go? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh. Let's not get the Rathalos, though. I almost wish this Paul Luma was pink, and then we could just call him Jigglypuff. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Fuck! Stay away, stay away from me, motherfuckers. Oof. I don't- you really don't want to die in the Guiding Lands, because they dock your paycheck, you know? And I don't want to get my paycheck docked. Uh, let's get the Paul Luma, leave the Wrath of us. Because I gotta take a break after this Paolumu. So let's just focus the Paolumu down, get the rewards. Grass down here. Okay, no more ammo for me. In that case, give me that scatter nut. I see a scatter nut around here. This cannon. Oh, it's a hermitcraft. That works. 
Oh, he's enraged though, it's not gonna work. How about flash? Nice. I love Gunlands! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! Look, he's not enraged! It's free real estate! Far enough. Kinda sucks have to be concerned about um, polishing this stuff though, but nothing beats artillery five. The Rathalos train goes choo choo. <laughs> Shot him out of the sky. Gonna pop that balloon. Rathalo's gonna pop that balloon. Okay, Paul Lumo is ditching, and we're gonna follow. Wait, where did Paul Lumo went? He actually went this way, right? No, he went above. Why can't I see him? He should be directly above us. You're not enraged. It's free real estate. Okay, fine. Get enraged. Wada will knock you the fuck out. Here it comes. Just watch Wada get that fucking super amped elemental discharge. Knock him the fuck out. Hit him in the head. He's got uh, thorn pods. He's smoking a cigar! That's not very healthy for the children! Stop that! Nightshade Paul Lumu, I realize you think you're edgy as fuck, but smoking cigarettes ain't right, okay? This is a family-friendly show we're running here, and I don't want no smoking! Is that the game's music? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. The, um, the music for friggin... Guiding Lands Combat? I love it. Wait, is he sleeping? Did he seriously come to the Wild Spire? Oh yeah, the Wild Spire Waste is his habitat. Oh, he's not sleeping yet, but he will be soon. Get back down here. 
Oh! He just told me to fuck off. Okay. Fair enough. I was trying to look for... Nope. No dice. No bones, no nothing. Work on to use offensive guard, yes. No, uh, warrior and heroic streamstones are not used to upgrade new weapons. It's a completely different system. Wait, 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 he's gonna go to sleep. Wada doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Now you're too close. Now he's not gonna sleep. Yep, he saw you. Wah! Boom! <coughs> and he's dead. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful hunt. See, guys, that is how you're gonna have to play to really optimize your shit in the, um, in the Guiding Lands. You're basically going to pitch the monsters up against each other whenever you can so that they deal damage to each other and then, you know, Bob's your uncle. It's basically what we did yesterday, except efficient, because yesterday I was just fucking around. Okay, let me go back to camp, turn this shit in. Actually, I don't need to go back to camp. I can just return from expedition and they give me all the rewards. I'm going to return because I'm going to have to take a break. But we will be back later today with more of this. As a matter of fact, I need to create the next event. Let me just see what I got here. Let me just see the rewards and then we'll create the next event. Uh, so we got a Legiana Mantle. Uh, and I think that's like the most important thing we got. Everything else is whatever. Lots of Dragon Veil coal, which means I can go do this Teamworks thing again, most likely. Uh, but yeah. Kind of disappointed, actually. I expected way more rewards than that. I mean, we killed, what, three monsters? Uh, it's it was only three, I guess. <laughs> Garbage decorations all around. Let's see how much we leveled up each spot, though. Master rank. Oof! Okay, we raised Wildspire to level three, raised Core a little bit, lost a ton of Rotted... So basically, you have to pick and choose. You really do have to pick and choose, because it's always going to lower the other one. I was hoping I could, like, balance things out by hunting th different things, but you really do have to pick and choose. What armor set would you recommend for Longsword, and which Longsword would you recommend? Probably Dolgoron, I think, uh, in terms of armor set, but I'm not a big Longsword guy. Uh, Ian Garuga also seems like it's got some critical on it, so that might be good. Um, and it also depends if you're playing elemental or elementless. Because if you're going elemental, you might want the Namiel set, which is a really interesting set now. And because the longsword sits in that midpoint where it's not a slow weapon and it's not a super fast weapon either. So you do have that option of going elementless or going elemental. Probably if you're going elementless, I might go doggo. Uh, and if you're going elemental, I would probably go Namiel. But again, I'm not a big longsword guy. In terms of which longsword I would use, uh, Acidic Glavinus appears to be the best choice for elementalists. And in terms of elemental, though, you have quite a few choices. In terms of elemental, there's a lot of choices, but probably Velcana would be really good, I would imagine. Anyway, guys, just, just let me do something here real quick. Um... Let me just set you guys up for the next event that we'll be doing. Uh, it's going to take me a while to, to come back because I also want to get some stuff done. But we just see here. And please remember, leave a like. Because uh, I know that a lot of you guys, when I start saying, okay, let me just set up the next stream, you guys start bailing. Before you leave, please leave a like. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Like, if you had fun, you know, why not? It's, it's just very, very helpful. Completed. Wait, did I not create one event already? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did, but it's not here for some reason. That's fine. We'll just uh, do another one. I'm just setting up the, the thumbnail here, you guys. 
But yeah, on the next one, we're going to be focusing on one of the aspects of guiding lands and ignoring all others. As opposed to just hunting everything, I'm going to try to level up one of the areas to the maximum I possibly can. Uh, and that's going to be the route that we will take. And let me just wrap this thing here. Public Park 13. Bam. Copy. Link location. And I know that the um, thumbnail is going to be wrong, but you guys can go hang out here. Uh, you guys can go hang out here while you wait. That should be the time at which I will be live next. And let me just swap this around. 2, 13, bam. There you go. The thumbnail should even be correct now. Guys, I love you. Thank you all very much for hanging out. You guys are amazing. Thank you for hitting that like button, subscribing, all of that good stuff. Uh, we will be continuing. We're going to push the, um, the guiding lands as hard as we possibly can. Uh, I'm considering which area I'm going to push. Uh, it's probably going to be either forest or uh, coral. I'm leaning more towards coral, but we'll see how it goes. Again, thank you guys. Love you all. See you guys in a bit.